Let us now try to calculate rational exponents for rational numbers. Here we have four questions and they are very interesting. I'd like you to make a note of these four questions, try to solve them and then look into my suggestions. The first one is minus within brackets 25 divided by 49 to the power of 3 over 2. Then we have minus 1 divided by 125 whole to the power of 2 over 3. Part C is minus 8 to the power of minus 2 over 3. And D is minus of 16 divided by 81 to the exponent of 3 over 4. So let's do the first one. Part A. Negative is outside the exponent, so therefore the answer will be negative, right? And within the bracket we have 25 over 49, the exponent is 3 over 2. It is our choice what to do first. It's better to do square root first, right? So we'll do square root of these numbers. That is to say, we should look at them like this. We are trying to do square root first. So it is like square root of 25 divided by square root of 49 and everything cubed. So we are doing square root first. And now we know square root of 25 is 5 and that of 49 is 7. So we can write this as minus of 5 over 7 cube. Now you can use the calculator to find 5 cube and 7 cube which is our answer, right? So 5 cube is 5 times 5 which is 125 20, times 5 gives us 125. So we get minus of 125 divided by 7 times 7 is 49, 49 times 7, 7 times 9 is 63, and 7 times 4 is 28, 28 plus 6 is 34. So we get 343. So that is the answer for the first one. Let's do part B, which is minus 1 divided by 125 to the power of 2 over 3. As you can see, this negative number is inside the bracket. So the exponent is applied on the negative number also, right? So in this case, as we should, we should always do the radical first and then the square. In that case, we land up with smaller numbers to work with. So what we have here is cube root of minus 1 divided by cube root of 125 and then square of the rational number. So what do we get? Cube root of negative 1 is negative 1. Cube root, this cube root, cube root of 125 is 5. And square is the answer, right? That is 1 over 25. So it will make the number positive, right? So we'll get a positive result, 1 over 25. Now let's look into C. Minus 8 to the power of minus 2 over 3. Now what is the effect of minus here? It makes the number reciprocal, right? So let us rewrite this number. So we can write this number as 1 over. So there's a negative sign. You can keep negative up also, right? With the numerator or with the denominator. It doesn't really matter. But there has to be just one negative sign. So that is the effect of minus here. So we get 2 over 3, right? So 1 over 8 to the power of 2 over 3 is what we get taking care of negative 1 exponent. Now let's do cube root of 8. So if you do cube root of 8 you get 2 right? So you get minus 1 over 2 whole square which is equal to minus will become positive minus 1 times minus 1 right? So you get 1 over 4 positive 1 over 4 as your answer. Correct? I hope you appreciate it. So whenever you square it, you'll get a positive result. Now here, part D is 16 over 81 with negative outside. So we'll always get a negative result. This exponent is not for this number. Now let's do the fourth root and then the cube root. So let's find the fourth root of 16, fourth root of 81, and then cube the result. Minus fourth root of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So it is 2. And 
3 is fourth root of 81. So we get 2 over 3 cube. And that gives us the answer as negative 2 cube. 2 cube is 8. And 3 cube is 27. So minus 8 over 27 is the answer. So that is how you can find rational exponents of fractions or rational numbers. Thank you.